Hey guys, EVP Man here. Today we're going to talk about mini PC or mini computers. And we're taking a look at this one from B-Link. This is the SE12 i5 1235U. Whoa, was that a lot? Well, this is an Intel i5 12 Gen mini PC packed with features. It's going to be great for someone who wants something that is, let's say, low profile and doesn't take up a lot of space, a minimalist but still wants to be able to have a good word processor, something that you could, yeah, you could even do some Photoshop in this. Um, and it's just uber quiet. Now, from a spec perspective, um, this thing is packed with a lot of great features. As we mentioned, this is using a Intel i5 12 gen. And in this little guy right here, you're looking at a 10 core, 12 thread, max boosted speed, a 4.4 gigahertz uh, type device. Pretty impressive. It can support uh, two 4K monitors, right, which is going to be also great. So you can have two monitors connected to it and it has dedicated ports for each one of those. It has a waterproof mesh here at the very top. So if you by mistake spill something, you don't have to worry about that. You have Windows 11 on this as well. 16 gig of RAM up to 32 um, is upgradable. It comes with a 500. Mine has a 500 gig uh, drive, but you can get up to two terabytes on this guy. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 two HDMI ports, which you'll see in a second, that are dedicated, four USB, two of which are gonna be 2.0, and the other one is gonna be three. And then also what you have is, oh, by the way, you do have a USB-C as well. So you have a USB-C here in the front. And then you have a headphone jack and also a gigabit LAN coming out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this device a bit closer. We're gonna run some kind of Geekbench type uh, software so we can see how well it performs. And like I said, if you're looking for something that's compact, affordable, something that, you know, you can even stick this behind a monitor, it takes uh, literally no room. And you'll be able to have um, a decent computer that you can use for computing. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we have in the box. So we'll go ahead and look at the accessories first before we look at the PC itself. So you have two HDMI cables, right? To support the two HDMIs. You do have a wall mount uh, with some screws. And we'll put that over to the side. And then you have a ginormous battery uh, supply, right? So this is your power pack. This is gonna get things going. So we'll put that over here. Now here you have the PC and we'll take a look at all the features here. In the very front, you have two USB, you have a USB-C, um, you have um, also your power button right here. Uh, so uh, headphone jack, nice venting throughout, right? Uh, you have this waterproof mesh on the top. So if you spill something, you don't have to worry about it. And in the back, you have Ethernet, Gigabit uh, here, two USB uh, A's, and then your two HDMI and your power. Again, you, there is some ex uh, expandability. Uh, this is small. This is something that you can uh, mount on the back of your monitor. I can Velcro this because this thing is so small. Or I can use uh, the bracket and hang it up somewhere. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to look at some of the tests that we did. We ran like a uh, Geekbench test on this. And if you're right now thinking about something like who would use this and what type of, I'd say, what would be the use case for it, right? So if you are, let's say, for example, someone who does a lot of browsing on the internet, someone who does word processing, someone who likes streaming video, like movies, um, think about all the streaming services that are out there, you can go ahead and use this. This, this will do fine. Um, if you're going to be doing uh, Photoshop, I've tested it. It works fine. Um, I've done a lot of 3D printing with these, right? So I've been looking at 3D printing, running laser engravers, not a problem. I've also then looked at uh, scanners, like scanning actually 3D objects and having the software that goes through the scanning process uh, on this. It does fine too. Uh, now, if you do high intense gaming, you know, like first person shooters or anything like that, that's gonna be high intense. I don't think that it's gonna be the right this device for you. If you wanna do, let's say Adobe Illustrator, I didn't have a problem with Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if I do Premiere Pro, I don't feel it until I actually do the export, right? It will run it, but the exports are gonna be slower as it compiles your files. So uh, there's a lot of flexibility here. And the value here is the size, the power, the convenience of having something like this. So we're gonna take a look at the actual tests that we ran and, and what it says, and then we'll take, um, we'll see if this is gonna be something that will fit your specific need. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now we went ahead and ran some performance benchmarks on this mini PC. And no surprise, uh, this thing as a desktop uh, to run you know, even part of your business is an excellent solution. You can see right here uh, the description that it's given. 
On the gaming side, it's really not designed to be a gaming solution, nor is it designed to be uh, really a workstation. But if you think about the overall needs of either doing web surfing, word processing, uh, if you think about PowerPoints, Excels, this is gonna do just fine, even streaming content. So if you're using this as a streaming solution uh, to stream your content, that is more than uh, sufficient. As we go down and start looking at some of the details here, you'll notice that the CPU is performing extremely well, and you can see what the benchmark uh, score is, which is very good. Uh, when you look at the overall uh, graphics, that's where the graphics card um, is, is, you know, is challenged somewhat when you start looking at it compared uh, to others that are on the market. Uh, definitely not a gaming solution um, in, in any way uh, or form. Uh, from a drive perspective, though, it's doing uh, incredibly well, right? Uh, based on the drive it has, you can see that it's an, it re reaches a, an outstanding score. Uh, when it comes to memory, uh, memory as well is doing really well on the memory side. So when you think about each one of these classifications, you think about how would you like to use this, this PC? Um, and really, it says what it says at the very top, that this is going to work well as a desktop. I've actually seen a lot of people using these type of mini PCs, um, even in dealerships, um, as a, a terminal that the salespeople can actually use, uh, where they don't really need a really powerful desktop. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.